Service men from the Hizhak Brigade under Ukraine's Petrol Police Department show their FPV drone workshop where they modify standard drones. They come pre-assembled, but they are not ready for combat missions right away. They won't fly far because, first, we operate in electronic warfare conditions. Second, we work near our own forces, which also use drones, creating interference. That's why they need further preparation. Each drone is customized individually based on the needs of specific combat units. Serviceman Rehbist explains that their team tailors the drone's characteristics accordingly. Serviceman Panda recalls that just a year ago he knew little about drones. He had to learn the in some doubts from colleagues. Before that, I had no idea what these quadcopters were. How does it work? It was very helpful to have different people to go to with a question. If something worked for someone else, but not for me, I'd ask, guys, how does this work? And what about this? Yeah, I got it. Where do I look? Where do I search? They explained, I learned. Now, I even teach others sometimes. Ukrainian troops emphasize that drone warfare evolves rapidly. Both skills and technology are constantly advancing. The enemy is developing their own systems too. We need countermeasures. We need to find better ways to neutralize them. That's why we must keep learning. Standing still is not an option. The Hizhak Brigade's workshop operates daily, constantly improving FPV drones. The engineers can handle any task. We have an innovative mind. We need to create and improve constantly, making our servicemen's work in the field easier and more effective. They also take pilot feedback into account to optimize drones for maximum precision in combat missions. Some firmware features are unnecessary. Too many functions, too many settings. If they're needed, we add them. If not, we don't. The brigade jokes that their work often goes unnoticed, but they judge their success by how effectively their drones eliminate enemy forces and equipment. Reported by Serhii Kulas, Natalia Husak, Artem Voronin, UATV News.